Welcome everyone, today we have a Dota Underlock game. This is a viewers game as we play the New Year's patch with the viewers. This is our viewers game Saturday. We started with the uh, Ogre and let's see how we go. Mm. I take embarrassment here for Bloodbound contract. Now why Ogre? Because 2 star Ogre is very fancy. Buffs the units, this new meta give us more legendary meta. That's right, <laughs> Flick said. I am big fan of the legendary meta for sure. Hmm. I might try six mages. Ogre is a good start for the mages now because you know he's just versatile with any build and he gives the mage a little boost before they get mature. Morning Hag, welcome buddy. I'm loving the matter, definitely. My matter is back. No more three star rolling, right? Talk about three star rolling, we found like eight. Beastmaster on round 8 or something. Someone say okay? Oh no, I hope they're okay. Ugh. H is still slightly better though. Oh, they're not okay. Let's see. I've seen this three. I can't pause for him though. That's the thing. Is he back? He's not back. What shall we do? Shall we restart for him? Oh, he's back. I saw him spin gold. Okay, he's back. I was thinking, shall we restart? It's okay. He rendered items. Oh, his items are not encrypted. It's okay. He's still got two randoms. So, six mages will be fine to watch here. Yeah, let's look into six mages. <laughs> I took ages here. Usually, ages is slightly better than Chamiel. Oh, knights and knights. Make sure you all play knights, guys. <laughs> so we take all the mages. Knights do counter the mages, though. Do I need anything? Hey, 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 hey! Do I send mages, guys? <laughs> what, what mages? We might still try six mages. But I think it's gonna be a far fetch, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, it's not mages only, my friend. It's anything. You can play anything. And what it is, <laughs> we're gonna have some good time here. Wait. Much better. Make sure I get two alliances this way. I think I'll go blood bond, but I'll make a twist to the blood bond. What's a twist? We go for a three star legendary. That's the twist. We should be rich and strong enough as we power level. We go for a 3 star legendary for this platform. Yeah, fully prepare for the platform. With Smuggler, I'm sorry, with Embarrassment and I look for a big time contract. Platform, 3 star Lich, any 3 star. I think Troll is okay, Medusa's okay. Shaman Platform. Into a mage game, late game is pretty good. There's no need for late game with this build, my friend. This is the strongest late game, Blood Bond. It's one of the best. Let me show you. It's so good. Tier 5, 3, star, plus. Let's go. I'm even changing the title to that. So let's hope this works. Otherwise, you know, we'll just be trolling. We should be fine. We're finding that tier 5 3 star platform. We'll call it Hunt. Okay. One moment. Uh, I've changed the title. I am so slow at changing. Hey. He's gone again. He, oh, oh, what happened? The, oh, he's going for losing streak. He's not gone, my friend. He's going for losing streak. It's okay to go for losing streaks. I also lost. Yay! <laughs> okay. Oh. I was one. Nah, that's yes, true. Losing and winning is okay. Because I win and I lost. What that means is I don't need to start a losing streak. I could make a blob of 3-star tide. I think 3-star tide of 3-star dudes is good. I will also give him the item, right? Make him a carry. So he's running a losing streak. 
Oh, he didn't sell the stock though. That's strange. He's got 19 gold. <laughs> That's a big Baharda. That's a really big Baharda. Hey, why are you guys so strong? <laughs> now we force a losing streak. Which I don't even need to take anything. <laughs> Step back, we shocked there. It's not safe out there. I haven't shut it up because we want better rates for the Black Bonds here. Only looking for Wishok there and Black Bond. <laughs> That's better rate. Oof. I still use my Ferrero. I likely I wouldn't I wasn't buying anything. Because I plan to lose here. I should lose, right? Yeah, no way I win. Right guys? Yeah, we lose. Unless, you know, we find a friend down here. <laughs> he took all the bloodstone with randomness. <laughs> Game's like, he's AFK, give him all the bloodstone. <laughs> Go give him the bloodstone. <laughs> Love on Scrappy. That's okay. Scrappy is a little bait, so no, we won. Gosh, <laughs> that's alright. I didn't know I was that strong. But since we win, we just start a win streak. Losing here give us free rows. <laughs> Lose, you said. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I meant to win. <laughs> Always the first sacrifice with a contract there. That's pretty good. Ogre's better than Wish Doctor here for now. Maybe we'll go with the four chores blood bond. Would that work? How much attack speed does the chores have? Not much, right? Only 65 and all that's going. A uh, little iffy. I could try it. I'll buy the barrel for now. And yeah, now we're going for the wing streak. I should lose the Shadow Shaman and put down the Wish Doctor, actually. <laughs> so silly. On my defense, he does die faster, though. Less healing means more death. The sacrificial utter. Next few runs, especially round 10, is going to be massive. Whoever gets the second contract will be the stronger blood bond. Nothing special. <laughs> hey. Shadow Shaman just escaped the fate of death <laughs> and then level 9 took him back. This is actually getting scarier. So it's 4 Bloodbond and a Stun and Warlock. Not many builds can beat us, except the Knight. Because they're too tanky. Ooh. <laughs> the Ogre is like, take my sacrifices. Both double angry? Okay, I'm more angry. We're more angry. We kill this one, we win. Actually, do we? Ah, oh, well, we lost. <laughs> there goes my win streak. Terrorblade is a good hyper carry we can use, but not really ne needed him now. Because once that he doesn't have enough base damage. Yes, he gets damage with transform. I don't think that multiplies. And also, you know, it's just a melee that dies. Maximize the gold. Oof. Sorry, little bad rider. This round, we win. After those rounds, we try to lose. For this build, we want to lose some 15, 20, and 25. Yeah, Bloodbound contract Vanna, was it? Hmm? Was it? Not there. Yeah, he could contract that one. We tried the 3-star Luna Bloodbound contract as well. <laughs> it was pretty fun. <laughs> so you had a big tiger. It's like half of the screen. We talked to one star and we win. Never mind. Oh gosh, please don't lose here. 
We lost. We chucked it. What job? So we went from 80% to 30%. This build is a blood bomb build. Oh, so sad. I can't believe I lost here. Just randomness. Let's have what <laughs> the well, like stuff poking the eye. I know, my friend. Oh, the pain. I definitely won't take Smuggler. Nothing I can do about the loss. I thought I was stronger. You baited me, Shadow Shaman. Yeah, there goes him. True Wish Doctor would be much better here, I think. Also, we want the Ogre. <clears throat> One job, Shadow Shaman. Look, he got the two contract. <laughs> so jelly. Some you come from a blob on like other builds? The comp is usually Shaman, Swarlock, and Scaled. That slack is gonna kill everything. Who's gonna win? Double coconut, so good. Look at that. <laughs> okay, came back. For the blood bond, we make the maximum use of our quarter. That's one of the things we do. Here, we also want to go for three star legendaries. Oh, you know, at least three star tier four units. We start leveling up. And more ogres. Ogre Major joins the party. Not bad. Compared to the Ogre count, we have the most of them. Warlock, we're still doing good. Ooh, our friend here has got summoning stone, but no contractor. This build really benefits from our contract and also more summoning stone for Arc Warden. Other than that, we have Superior Stone with Shamans, Tidehunter, Medusa, and Disruptor. <laughs> Which one do we kill? I think. Damage wise, it's quite nice as the damage amplifies. Show us the way. Usually we get to level 8 by round 17, just with the surplus gold. Save up. We do want to push for level. Now pushing for level is more, even more rewarding. Simply because we're likely going to be round 21 level 9 and round 25 level 10. And that means so many raids for purple units and legendaries. <laughs> Baby slack again. Ogres to protect against assistance here. I think. Who is going to be a contestant? I think this Blood Bond Knight is going to be very scary for us. Later in game, we're not scared. Just the mid game. Because he gets into power with the tankiness and also damage. Let's see. Nothing too special. So many knights, that's great. I'll save the free rolls still. Actually, I should put down a unit, right? <laughs> well, I'll put down a stack. You get this one, Slack. That's right, you special. My sniper LT Death Helm unit. Oh, sniper. It always happens with sniper. We're trying to save the free rolls super good. For at least level 8. Instant disarm. Never mind. <laughs> it's a bloodlust this luck. Can he do it? Oh my gosh, he's doing it. Is he doing it? He's getting bigger. His damage is getting higher. I think. I think. I think. <laughs> it did it. <laughs> we smart slack. We purposely lose around 15 now. To force a tier 2 item. While losing, Slack does look at the ogres. They have the best animations as they jump. <laughs> look at the three. They jump left, they jump right, <laughs> and they jump up. <laughs> Makes me want to stretch a little bit. Let's stretch while they jump. Let's 
Welcome to Matt's Here, yoga thank session. Thank you so much, my friend, for the support. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the host, buddy, Andrew. Thank you, thank you so much, my friend. <laughs> we're stretching because we left the whole board empty to force for a blood bond contract. I saw the ogres jumping. I wanted to stretch. <laughs> Look at them. So cute. Blood bond contract. By losing here, we got 10 more percent chances. And next round, if we lose, we got 40 more percent chances for tier 2. Oh, a friend is losing. They're forcing a lose as well. Look, contract. Aren't we smart? Got two contract already. Why does it run 15? Oh, good question. Thank you, thank you so much for the subscribe, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much, Casual City, for the subscribe, my friend. Thank you, thank you so much. So, how the rate works is round 15 is 70% tier 2 item drop, and round 10 is 80% tier 2. If we lost there, we go back to the t round 10 rates. So, it's actually beneficial to lose. So forcefully we lose on round 15, 20 and 25 for the bomb, for the contract and also the summoning stone. Thank you again my friend, Catch your city for the subscribe. Really really big help with the subscription my friend, thank you so much. We have made 3 star arc water before, we can go again. We're taking the tide as well, we pre level. Legendary meta really favors this. Hey there, Don Freya. Hello from Turkey. Oh, welcome, welcome, buddy. Thank you so much for joining me. Well died. Who's Chuck there? I don't think I need to roll anymore. <laughs> oh, the tides poked out the fish. Did you see that? Both of them poked out the little fish. <laughs> Brothers unite. Tight hunters. So, two contract versus two contract. Tight's the best tank. <laughs> a mini stunner. <laughs> That's a blink necro. I think blink disruptor was a little better, maybe. <laughs> but who would have known? <laughs> we just blob on and warlock. So, hey man, send over a ton of my viewer, help them to get locked. Please, thank you so much, Andrew, my friend. Thank you, thank you. What would you do if you didn't get second contract? We can still use this build with one Arc Warden. But I'll focus more Troll Warlord, Medusa 2 star. I'll be rolling at level 9, and then I'll level up by round 25 to level 10. Usually I roll level 8 for Arc Warden. Finding one Arc Warden is enough for the build. It makes us pretty solid. You know, finding two arc is even better, but not need to rush that. Mini Tide. You can do it, Mini Tide. Touch that Tide. Those Tides are very, very tanky, to be honest. Tide spokesman. <laughs> Fully sponsored by Tide. He promised fishes. The special challenge for this game, well not really a challenge, like the goal for our particular build is we want to find a 3 star purple unit. Because this build really gives us high levels and so much economy. That's why we're leveling slowly. Matt, can you repeat the comp for Blood Bond? Shamans, Warlock, and is that it? This one more. Shamans, Blood Bond, there's also Blood Bond, Shamans, Warlock, and Scaled. So the Tide will come in, the Shamans will come from Arc Warden, Disruptor, and the Enigma. Tide and Medusa will come in for the Scaled, for better stuns. Oh, double stun. They want this Arc Warden dead. He's so dead. I think <laughs> this is a clone that revenge his master. Arc Warden clones are so scary with Ogre buffs. And 
did one, my friend. I'll be posting this build on Reddit for you guys, so everyone can enjoy this one. So really feel people have flop on nerf in a patch today, low. <laughs> I'm sorry, Curtin. I'm about to post a build to help you guys make this fun. So at least you, if you can't beat us, you join us. <laughs> no worries, buddy. Happy to help. Ooh, look at that gold. Hey. Okay. We don't do level anymore. We purposely lose here. Losing here is massive. <laughs> I like the ogre that jumps. Make sure we get all the ogre back. <laughs> Make an ogre jumping team. <laughs> Look at them. They jump left to right. <laughs> we shall take all the blood bomb pack. Yeah, there you go. Our friend AI is also forcing a lose. Very smart. Because we're both on contract. Losing here turns 30% into 70%. Hot. Very hot. smart. <laughs> Some newness dad. Let's go. Oof, no contract. <laughs> so sad. Mana boost is not bad. Give so much in the mana. Which is okay, but yeah, let's go mana boots. Because late game, it's all about whoever cast first with the stance. Level 9. <laughs> Should I go just go to level 10? Oof. Should I? Nah. We have to run. Too greedy to go level 10 now. Where am I? <laughs> Where are my dudes? That's what I'm thinking. Here we got the shamans now. We got shamans and one extra warlock. <laughs> yes, level 10. I need at least a 2 star. Aqua and Tide to go to level 10. Because otherwise we'd lose too much of the HP as we lose here. So we're low a little bit. Should have picked the troll, but not need. <laughs> They're getting chickened. But see, we start to lose. The... We shocked that we're going to 3 star. Because it's going to affect our blacklist thing. Ogres. Shall we go for a 3 star Battle Fury Ogre? Maybe. And we don't take Wish Shock anymore. Beautiful. Not bad. Ogre Major makes sure the hooks or whatever comes into us will not be the, the death ones for the units in the back. I might save up to level up now. One, two stars is enough usually. Okay. Let's see if it's enough. It's a mighty knight. <laughs> it missed. <laughs> that tide <laughs> had a little slit over. Wait, why is this a uh, bloodlusted blood bump tide? <laughs> He's not dying. He needs to die faster. Yeah, I think we need to roll a little more. <laughs> Especially when to start loose. If we win, we don't roll. Contract goes to Shadow Shaman. Actually, put it on this one. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. That, sh that should be enough. I need the contract to be on someone that dies fast now. That's okay. Ooh, so many upgrades. <laughs> I keep hearing the upgrades on. Ooh, three stars. Can we prevail? This is a traditional build. Wait, this, what? this is a hunter build. That's not traditional. <laughs> Tide is so good. Amigo. As we can see, we're missing our coordinates. So, go we'll go with Rock Shark there. So, Rock Shark that gets mana boost too. Yeah, that's a good idea, my friend. Really good idea. We usually prefer Wishokta over, oh sorry, Ogres over the neck, over Warlock, because it buffs. Well, build is ready. Yeah, we're only the troll, I think. Now we save up for 10. Our Bloodbound Knight, though, 
Is he the one we defeated? I'm not sure. Well, we defeated his image, right? No, wait. There was a hunter. Yeah, hunter knight. Once Medusa come at 10, we're pretty solid. With two tower cordon, things are going to run very smoothly. Okay, this is the final boss. He's <laughs> got his ogre ready. Got my silence ready. <laughs> Tight down one or two unit. Oh gosh. And knights are so tanky here. That's my biggest problem. Knights are so tanky. It's okay, the stuns will come. This is his power spike phase with the knights. Also, the blood bomb just amplify that. Let's force a lose. Losing here gave us 30% for a contract, which is not high, but we'll take it. <laughs> Make sure we get the jumpy ogres. Ooh, Enigma script. Lose the shadow shaman for Enigma. <laughs> Make sure I jump ogres together. <laughs> got the left, got the right. <laughs> We're saving the three rows for level 10 for the best chance of finding, you know, high tier units. Beautiful. Yeah, very rare we find something good, but 30% is 30%, you know, we take it. Aegis means we have 20 more percent HP, pretty much. Ogres, ogres for everyone. Beautifully done. What shall we find? <laughs> Who's gonna take the contract? No one dies that fast. Give it to the tide, might as well. Oh, okay. This is a really good item for the tide, and nothing too special. So notice this one tier two. We forced the tier 2 item, but you know, there's always different drop rates. <laughs> this time we dropped a different one. Let's roll a little bit. Pocho. At this moment, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> we have like 9 plus blood bond. Once Medusa come, we really hit the spike. We can lose the Witchrock though. Because magical damage do a lot, because we have minimal HP base without any 3 stars. Oh, he's going for draw. Look at that. Power of Tide, guys. Oh, never mind. No Tide at all. <laughs> now nah, Tide's coming back. Tide's definitely coming back. <laughs> Look at that big witch up there. So scary. The Blood Bell Synergy Stack about, that's right. And it multiplies. So it's like. I've seen Arc Warden hitting for 5,000 normal attack damage. I like in 3 star, I only have 5.5k. Arc Warden hits for 5,000. <laughs> so, this is the legit build. I'll be posting that build next week for you guys on Reddit and on YouTube. I'll disrupt. Uh, sure. Every one of them is 125%, and then it multiplies. It's very scary. Who shall we find? We roll after 50 for the maximum chance of finding something good. Can't fit Disruptor though. Need a 3 star Disruptor. Ty casted right before he silenced us. Beautifully Ty. Let's go cast again. <laughs> we already won the sides. <laughs> Got tossed again. So each Arc Warden is going to multiply the damage as well. Really scary. It's the War of the Giants. Attack of Titans Series 3. <laughs> oh, the final boss will still be the knight. He doesn't have the best stun though. Go for three star tide, why not? Which one? I need to pick one. The one that comes most, we go for that one. We have 30% rate for tier 4. That's what I got for going brownie here, kid. Oh, you went for brownie, my friend? Oh, the two brownie baits. 
much much bait <laughs> attack of titans are mobile <laughs> it's released oh the final boss who's gonna be stronger we have the chicken farm we have enigma we should be stronger at least i hope got the stance off kill the big chaos knight no we kill the dragon knight oh no <laughs> they're still stronger we have to row <laughs> That means after all. I need to do so. Take off Tiger Season 3. <laughs> okay, he's stronger. Knights are very sustainable. We need one more contract on and that's our quarter. That works. I'll take one. Okay, disrupt this one. Yeah, we still haven't spent. Well, I'll lose this one. I think I don't need Wishock this no more. He wasn't dying fast enough. At least for me. <laughs> Double tide. <laughs> yeah, we're going for 3-star tide now. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> back My back line is not prepared. Front line is very prepared though. <laughs> oh, 3 stars lag. Oh gosh. <laughs> he hits so fast that he turns into a chicken. <laughs> Simply because of the primordial the Arc Warden buff. Wait. Never mind. <laughs> He's still stronger. <laughs> Other country that too slow, that's right. That is correct. I'll lose with Shock now. I was six. not expecting him to die this slowly. All looks good. Tusa, finally. We want all the tide. <laughs> Which one again? Give the contract to do so. This one can stay here. Now what we need is we need the three star tide into two star arc warden. Arc warden was not doing enough damage. Why did you position IQD before? To maximize the chance of the front line. But I didn't expect uh, assassin, that's why. I don't understand why you roll that late. You can't level, keep losing. So the thing is, we want to maximize the gold we have. By rolling late, we still have the ages. That's one of the, my greediness. If we don't have ages, I'll roll much earlier. To start the Enigma is much better. Because every free spot means more. More units to be added. Scarly Deuce is the one. Come on, those Enigma needs to die fast. I can lose my enigma for the tide, I think. Focus good. Even more spots. Hmm. Okay, not bad. Double, double tide. <laughs> it's a tide madness. This one needs to step a little forward. Once I lose again, I'm happy to go much, much deeper. Yeah, we still have health HP. We do want to maximize the chance of us finding like things with the economy. Aquila needs to start. I shouldn't be that greedy. We're not breaking the knights, you see. <laughs> oh, let's hope we don't lose here. <laughs> we don't lose the ages here. That's what I'm hoping. How's Black this changing this patch? When you're rolling, it still helps. Aquila needs to start. That's one of my biggest weakness. I just need one tie to cast things off. Please start tied. Beautiful. Oh, we go deep. Really? Finally. <laughs> Three star tie, guys. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> There's an aqua now. Three star tie has. <laughs> it's got 5.5k HP, 175 damage. <laughs> it's got an elevator of three cells, guys. The biggest tide is back. <laughs> like that is that he met. I found the best item for that build with 4 tier legendary refresher. 
Necropos, so Necropos prevent hide. Oh, very nice. <laughs> I haven't seen a three star type before. It looks the same though. Very unfortunate, but oh, this is so big. I just seen another arc. Like, more arc. Actually, this is fine. Those are sacrifices. <laughs> the big old tide is here. Grow a little bit. Looking for a Nick Man here. I can't afford another 3 star to use anymore. Hi, it should be a 3 star tide. <laughs> big, big boss. <laughs> oh, look at this AoE stuns, guys. <laughs> Everything's stunned. They thought they caught us. Can you explain Ark positioning? Ark has one unit behind him, so he can't summon behind him. He summons forward, and he's the most spread out, as he is a damage dealer. <laughs> that title with 10 armor, 5.5k. <laughs> Full team of stuns, I know. Except the Warlock and Ogre. Everything stuns. With passive or with, you know, the main build. Let's have a look. Okay. We swap around. Oh, Ark is here. Okay, you got down. You got tied over here. <laughs> Contract. Need another blood bond. Oh, beautiful. Okay. We should be good. We should be good. <laughs> it's the last night player. The final boss. As long as we don't hit the necro, we who has the hex, we should be okay. Hit the tide, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Double tide. Double elevator. <laughs> now that's why we say we're the strongest late game build. Because of that. Because <laughs> you just given opportunities to roll for 3 stars of your choice. I could pick the disruptor, the tide, or maybe conquer. Or even do so, but do so too far. <laughs> Disgustingly strong, right? But he's got, got a lot to go though. We have ages. Now I'll be rolling for Enigma, and I don't need a 3 star, I actually want lower tier Warlocks, <laughs> 3 star DK, <laughs> don't say that, <laughs> oh he is going for DK, shall we deny his DK, I will be nice. 135 is the dragon, instantly we'll chicken the dragon with Enigma, I believe the 17%, <laughs> let's go 17% guys, <laughs> come on, <laughs> one chicken? No, why you no chicken? Why you no get chicken? Tide has three cells. This is the old tide. <laughs> yeah, second cell they will die. Yeah, they have to die fast. <laughs> That's rude, man. <laughs> That's <Akaba. laughs> That's okay. Refresher. Okay, we'll take refresher. We take refresher. <laughs> Easy. We roll. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is a little better on refresher, I think. <laughs> I could go for 3 star Enigma too, guys. What do you think? <laughs> We're better for having Aqua in the corner. Yes, the Ogre. Yeah, Ogre just blocks him from. Ogre will die. It's okay. Ogre will die because they run forward. That's the difference. I cast to summon in front of him. <laughs> this is the enigma. Oh boy. Oh, he's got his. He's got the tide catcher. He prepared for us. Oh. They didn't prepare for the three star tide, you see. <laughs> you can't kill the three star madness. <laughs> Zero loss. No one died. We just won with Tide Hunter and Enigma. <laughs> Like those warlocks didn't even die. <laughs> sorry, everybody. Seven. I'm sorry, my friend. Oh, are we? Oh, I'm not finding anything, am I now? No luck. <laughs> Just baited. <laughs> so. Mm. Oh, is he changing? What's, who is he putting his things on? Oh, he still catches my tide. I didn't bother to change the tide. I should change that. It's my fault. I should change with the tide positions. I think Dusek has hexed. Nope. 
This time he got Enigma. But Enigma is not the problem, my friend. <laughs> Damage is never the problem. It's always the control. Oh gosh. The pain. Enigma shredded the, the knights. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Three star tiny in my OT. The rest of the team don't even have to do anything. They're not even dying. Oh my god, we won. GG. Three star tight, unkillable stunner. <laughs> Three star tight, <tie>, guys. <laughs> what a build. <laughs> Milter build. See, I knew he was stronger in the mid game, but I knew it would be like unstoppable late game. Let's have a look at the build. Not that much damage because they didn't give us the chance to do damage. Enigma contests all the brownies, all the knights, all the warriors. Tide make sure we have all the stun. Dusa slows them. Yeah, this one goes to YouTube for sure, my friend. Let me get some time to post it. Usually this build does not need a three star. But for this time, at the start of the game, we said that we want to pick a three star and we work towards it. And the key here was to have, you know, enough economy to roll for units. And the greediness we had was compensated or protected by the ages. I would not be that greedy with saving up. I had a friend, like a viewer, asking us, why did you get those greedy? Never go too greedy if you don't have HP. But with the power of the ages, we were pretty protected. So based on Tidy's broken, I know instant cast twice. <laughs> and also he had 10 armor and 5.5k. He hexed the Tide, but it was not enough. The Tide just, he tanked it, then he just killed everyone with the stuns. So what a superb build. This build means you can chore a little bit. There's room for flexibility. We found 3-star Luna before. 3-star Tide, next time we go for 3-star Dusa or Enigma. <laughs> so I said, hi YouTube. So yeah, if you guys like this build, this build, this game, and this particular build, I'll go through the build with you guys in a guide, will be posted on YouTube very soon. So definitely subscribe and turn the notification on for this game and more builds to come in the future. Also, to support me further on Twitch, please follow and subscribe. That's a massive support. And I'm so glad to have you guys, you know. Oh, don't you go to final? No, Mob Psycho, don't say anything. I want to watch. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> I was just going to watch. I was going to catch up after the stream. So yeah, what a wonderful build. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this build. And we'll make more builds to come. I have a legendary warrior build, legendary mage build, and legendary blood bomb build. We'll go further. Thank you so much, guys. That was lovely, Ryan. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that game. It's, it's beautiful. New